Hey everyone, welcome to Matt's Lockpit. So today's video is going to be a bit of picking. What I've got here is an Avocet Pioneer Plus Dimple Lock. There's the key. Quite a reasonable bitting on the key, got a few highs and lows. So, it says on the packet of this lock, 6 pin high security Euro cylinder. So um, I think they've sold themselves a little bit short with that to be honest guys. Because if we have a look at the bottom here, either side of the driver pins, well driver chambers, We've got a row of four trap pins. So, um, yeah, when you pick this without the key, it actually activates those four trap pins, making it a 10 pin lock in my eyes. So I don't know what you guys think about that, but let's get it in the vise and see what happens. See you in a second. Okay, guys, so as I said, in the vise, we have an Avocet Pioneer Plus. So just another quick look at the bit in. Not too shabby at all. We've got a few ups and downs on there. And as you can see, working absolutely perfectly. So it is all locked up, so let's get to picking. So tension wise, I'm gonna be using this crazy shaped boomerang fucking tension wrench thing. What it does, it fits down nicely down there. And as you can see, it controls the core quite nicely. And um, I'm not sure which flag I'm gonna be using to pick this, but I'm gonna start off with a flat flag for my honest, honest dong set. Good old honest dongs. So without further ado, as always, I'm going to go into the back and start searching for a binding pin. <clears throat> so nothing on six there. Nothing on five. Nothing on four. Click of three, which is giving us a false set. Two. Bit of counter on two. I think we got that one set. Nothing on one there. Let's see if I can slip back round to the back. Something's blocking me. There she is. Right, so six gave us a foot. Get put us back in our full set. Five, nothing on five. Four, we got counter rotation. Nice click on four. I think I set that one. Three, two, one. So we're getting counter off six here. Click on six, I think I got that one set. Five, counter again. There we go, we're open off five. Absolutely awesome. But as I said, we do have trap pins. So even though we're open, as you can see, we're not going anywhere, we're trapped. So from here, we're gonna have to start picking again. And um, this can sometimes be a pain in the fucking ass, I'm not gonna lie, because we've got four mini spools and they can be a right nightmare. But I think I'm gonna change my flag here. I'm gonna be going in, sticking with the honests, if I can get that to focus. There we go. As you can see, we got a bit of a cave on this one. So hopefully it'll help me get over that warden. And um, yeah, we've got pins on five, four, three and two now. So start having a feel through them. Like three binding, doesn't want to give anything. So it's like picking a whole other fucking lock again, this is, guys. And sometimes it can be a right ball ache, I'm not going to lie. Depending on the bit in the key and whatnot. As I said, they're little mini spools, so you get, still get your full sets and whatnot. So it is like starting all over again, just from a really weird angle. Should we get counter that? I think we've got number five set there. As you see, we had a bit of core movement. We've got three set that time. As you see, core movement, full set. Probably only got one of these spools holding us up now, hopefully. Finding the little fucker. As I said, this can sometimes be trickier than uh, the first six pins. I think they've sold themselves short advertising this as a six pin lock because, as you can see, it's ten pins that need to be picked in order to get it open. Let's have a good feel here. Getting 
down to off two. Nice, click off four. Click off five. Come on, you little bugger. Getting counter off three there. Doesn't want to go though. Almost there, guys. Perhaps I might have been better off with the original flag I was using. I'll try that in a second. See, the problem is you've got to get past this. There she is. She's open. Thank God. You've got to get past that stage, guys. Otherwise, the lock is fully locked up. You can't put the key back in. You can't get it back to the open position. But as you can see, we're well and truly open. So let's get this thing gutted. I'll leave that up there. Zoom you out. And hopefully this gutting isn't too messy. Because, as I said, we have got those uh, two rows of four trap pins either side. So we'll get that down there. We'll stick that there. So let's see what we need. Right, I'm going to need a circlip remover, which I've got by here. Doesn't matter if we lock it back up, we have got the key. Actually, we can't lock it back up because if we go any further, we'll come back around into the other side of the trap pins. So let's get a shim in here for good measure. Need a nice straight one. Hopefully we've got a new one. There we go. That should be a little bit better. There we go. Shim in. Key pins up this way. Let's get a follower. Hopefully this doesn't get caught on those mini spools. No, it doesn't. Absolutely fantastic. So, as we can see, everything needed to be picked. Number four was a bit of an overset trap. So let's get these out. I'm just going to plonk them down here. I'm not going to bother using a tray. So number one, standard. I think these will all be standard, to be honest, guys. I have picked a few of these, and none of the key pins have ever been modified. Where did she come out of? Six. Bear with me one second, guys. Just get me tweezers. Move that one across there. Actually, you know what, guys? We will use a tray. No, fuck it. We're there now, aren't we? Four. And five. Fantastic. So now the fun starts, guys. I'll stick that in here. So for driver pin number one... A standard steel pin we'll leave the springs in there for now right we're gonna so there's the first trap pin if I can get that to focus as you can see we got a really cool mini spool so I'll put the trap pins underneath like so and then for the second driver pin for the main driver pin we've got a nice spool Lovely stuff. And we'll get the other trap pin out now. Get out of there, you little bugger. There we go. So as you can see, a little spool again. Fantastic. Trap pin for three. There we go, that's the driver for three. We've got another spool. Get this trap pin out. As you see, a little spool again. Wicked. So number four. Uh, 
as you can see for the main driver pin we've got a spool and once again got these little bloody pins either side again get them out and let's come back from the back we'll start the other side now guys so for driver number six we have oh fuck this is a long cylinder we have a spool And for number five, we have another spool. Wicked. So let me get these springs out, tidy this up a bit for you. Got a few more trap pins in there. Lovely, just bang all those springs out there. So as you can see for the main springs, we've got these nice anti-bump springs. Very cool. So line them up. I'll only be a second, guys. Apologies that this gutting's taking so long. It's a bit of a fiddly one. So there we go, six anti-bump springs. Move that trap pin up to there. Set this out a little bit tidier so I can give you a close-up of it. Actually, I'll just add some pictures in. So we've got these little strong, strong steel springs here. These are the ones that belong to the trap pins. I'll just chuck them over there. Anyways, you get the gist. I'll show you the little chambers that these uh, pins live in right now. There we go. So as you can see, we've got them and they correlate on pin number two, three, four, and five. So what happens with these guys? When you've got the key in this, obviously the key will be holding the pins at the shear line. So when you turn it with the key in, it'll just glide over those. But when you don't have a key in, when you turn, there will be space in the chambers. So once you turn it a little bit, these uh, trap pins will then become activated because there's springs underneath them, obviously. So then it'll push them into chambers two, three, four, and five, making it a good fun pick, as you saw. So thanks for watching, guys. That was the Avaset Pioneer Plus. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Stay tuned because I'll stick some pictures in. See you soon. Bye.